him tonight. Three games left in the regular season. Adam Caporn told us before the game, Long Island has to win all three. They have that mentality knowing if they want to get into the playoffs here in the G League, which has been a goal all season long, three wins are needed over the next couple of nights. Well, the last time we saw the Nets on this home floor, they were comfortably in the postseason. And now, unfortunately, Kevin, after a six-game losing streak, on the outside looking in. Dayron Sharp fouled inside. It brings us to the keys to the game. They're delivered by Pantano's Gourmet. Visit their locations in Uniondale and Hewlett. They love to feed you. Well, during that six-game losing streak, Kevin, shooting was an issue for the Nets. Struggled mightily shooting the basketball during the road trip. Just 39% from the field, under 28% from beyond the arc shooting the basketball. Got defense on the keys to the game. They run into a tough defense tonight in Windy City. Six most points, uh, six fewest points, I'm sorry, allowed in the G League. Third in field goal percentage against. And then Snap It is our last key to the game tonight. The Nets got to snap that losing streak tonight. Only three games to go. And again, on the outside looking in. Dayron Sharp converting the free throw to give Long Island the early lead. Now Hill looking for a cutting Tyler Cook. Coughed it up. And the Nets in transition, turn it over. Poked from behind by Rochelle, out of bounds, and the Bulls will take over. You look at this six-game losing streak Long Island coming in on. Adam Caporn told us before the game it has been frustrating. Uh, a lot of roster changes for Long Island. Ty Wallace, who had played so well during that eight-game winning streak, is up on a second 10-day contract with the New Orleans Pelicans right now, and his absence has been felt. They've also been without Craig Randall for a couple of games, as they are tonight. And the changing backcourt has really been a big reason for the struggles here over the last couple of weeks. Well, it's never an excuse, Kevin, and the team will never look to roster upheaval, especially in the G League, as an excuse. But it is a reason for the Nets' struggles, for sure, to help explain away this six-game losing streak. Tyler Cook has the Bulls on the board. Former Brooklyn Net, as we mentioned at the top, played four games with the Nets a season ago on a 10-day contract. Travion Graham wide open in the corner. Got it. And Jeremy Pargo was on his backside defensively as that shot went up. Didn't see why he went down, but that could explain why Graham was so open. Here is Cook guarded by Sharp. This will be a good matchup inside. Two very talented big men, and Tyler Cook has an early four points. That was a little bit too easy there for Tyler Cook. Got down on the block, just backed in on Sharp, and that's an easy bucket. Sharp to the spin move, dumping off for Rochelle. Well, Dayron Sharp, we talked so much about his rebounding ability, his ability to crash the glass, but an excellent passer as well. And you get a look at the vision there, dropping it off for Brandon Rochelle for an easy play. Yeah, that is something that Adam Caporn told us before the game will help Dayron have a long NBA career. He's not just a scorer and a rebounder, he is a playmaker as well. And Tyler Cook is filling it up here early for Windy City. He's got six, a chance to make it seven at the free throw line. Another look at Cook inside, drawing the contact and laying it in. He's a perfect three of three from the floor. Tyler Cook has been a two-way with the Bulls all season long, coming off of a double-double in his last game on the road at College Park. Free throw good for Cook. We're tied at seven, and we get a whistle as... There's a clock issue. Nets most recent game was Saturday in Greensboro, a 20-point loss, 139 to 119. And something that was a theme throughout the road trip, Coach Caporn said, have to just defend better as a whole. Uh, that game, the highest scoring game uh, for an opponent all season against Long Island, the 139 that the Swarm put up. And they gave up 130 twice during the road trip, so obviously, a number that you got to get a little bit back down from the stratosphere as it was for those two particular games on the trip. Sharp is up to an early four, and the Nets have a two-point lead. Inside, laid in, nice move there by Devon Dotson. Well, Dotson and Sharp might have a little bit of college basketball trash talk back and forth as Jordan Crawford knocks down the three. Dotson is a Kansas alum. Sharp, of course, a North Carolina alum. And those two schools, two of the final four remaining in the NCAA tournament. Cook, floater inside, off back iron, no. Sharp has the rebound. Crawford, looking ahead for Graham. He'll back his way in. 
Kicks out for Duke. He'll take a deep three. David Duke Jr. Well, so far, the backcourt for the Nets meshing pretty well here. Duke Jr. and Crawford in sort of different roles than they've been accustomed to in their time here this season with the Nets. Usually it's Craig Randall, and it's been Ty Wallace lately running the show. Obviously, neither is here tonight. So Crawford and Duke with a little bit more run in the backcourt. Jumper from Hill is good. First three of the night for the Bulls. David Duke Jr. has been dealing with a bit of an ankle injury over the last couple of weeks that he's working his way back from. Here's Sharp on the drive. Dayron Sharp through the contact. He has an early six. And Dayron Sharp was fantastic during the road trip for the Nets despite losing all those games. During this six game losing streak, 20 points, 13 and a half rebounds for Sharp as the Bulls get another easy bucket. Tyler Cook, nine points on four of five shooting here in the first four minutes and change. Sharp for Duke Jr. Bounces to him. And we get an offensive foul. It'll be on Dayron Sharp. A good flow offensively here early. The Nets, Matt, have yet to miss a shot. Six of six from the floor. Windy City is six for nine. Now we talked in the keys of the game about the shooting was for the Nets during the losing streak. When they, uh, prior to the start of the losing streak, the Nets ranked 22nd in the league in shooting. Now they are dead last after the last six games in the performance that they have done shooting the basketball, 28th in the G League percentage-wise. So the shooting has really been woeful for the Nets, but a good start so far tonight. Cook start. can't knock down the hook shot. And Crawford is up with it. Jordan Crawford. Fall away jumper is good. That's what Jordan Crawford can do. He is a professional scorer, 33 years of age, obviously a guy with a ton of NBA experience, trying to make his way back to the league. And again, an increased role, some more responsibility as of late for the Nets. And Adam Caporn praising the attitude. Had a fabulous clinic. We'll hear about it, a little bit more about it coming up at halftime. Had a chance to talk with Kelly Alton Bird, our uh, vice president of the Long Island Nets. And just a great initiative as part of Women's History Month here for the Nets. And we'll have more of that for you coming up at halftime. Simonovic knocks down the three out of the timeout for Windy City, and we have a high-scoring affair here in the early going. A combined 14 of 18 from the floor as Duke Jr. misses the three and Sharp on the offensive glass. Well, Daron Sharp is coming off one of the games during the road trip where he had 15 offensive rebounds, the most for anybody in the G League in a single game this season. So obviously we know how he can rebound the basketball, and he's been fantastic as of late. Travion Graham, the rebound for Long Island. Rochelle will push. Rochelle lost the handle, has it back up top for Sharp, and we get a whistle, and he's called for a travel. That was the game on March 16th, as you get a look at some of that offensive glass prowess there by Dayron Sharp throwing it down. Back on the 16th on the road at Westchester, 30 points, 22 rebounds for Dayron Sharp. Again, 15 of them were offensive rebounds, most for anybody in a single game in the G League this year. Unbelievable numbers for Sharp. Simonovic stepped on the sideline. Second Bulls turnover. Raekwon Gray in the game here for Long Island. So is Jordan Bowden. This is a naturally big lineup for the Nets, as we mentioned at the top. Lacking guards on the roster right now, so their bigs will have to play some roles they're not used to as Jordan Bowden knocks down a triple, and the Nets are 4 of 5 from deep here in the first quarter so far. And Bowden coming off of Curry, career high, 23 points in the loss on the road at Greensboro on Saturday. Had four three-pointers in that game. Cut from Dotson, lays it in with the left hand. Devon Dotson, over 21 points per game in the regular season. He has four here in the early going. Guy who can really score and attack the rim. Mentioned before, out of Kansas, where he played two years. Here's Duke Jr., another three, in and out. Rebound tapped out by Gray, and will be last off of Long Island. Devon Dotson, a guy who's played 22 games in his career in the NBA, 11 last year with the Bulls and 11 this year with Chicago. Last game up in the NBA back on January 14th, so he's been a mainstay for Windy City over the last month and a half or so. And also averages over seven assists per game, so a guy who can dish it as well. Thompson inside, Ethan Thompson in the game, kicks up top, three is short from Henry Drell. And Dayron Sharp will start the break himself. Skip pass for Bowden. 
Now Crawford. Raekwon Gray has it deflected. Eight on the shot clock. Gray bullies his way inside and draws a foul. Yeah, bully ball from Raekwon Gray, that big 6'7", 270-pound frame working down inside. Taking it right at Drell, I believe. Drell listed 185 pounds, so Gray has about 100 pounds on Drell. And Raekwon Gray has struggled to score the ball as of late, but his best game over the last couple of weeks was at Windy City back on February 11th. His only game in double figures in the last 14. He scored 13 in that win for the Nets. They won back-to-back -back games at Windy City back in mid-February. Jordan Bowden here with a steal. Nets have numbers. Bowden, skip pass for Bryce Brown, and open corner three is good. The Nets now five of seven after that corner triple from Bryce Brown, turning defense into offense as they are wont to do. Get the steal on one end, off and running for that corner three. Hill down the left side, tough finish for Malcolm Hill. Crawford, he'll try another three. Jordan Crawford heating up, he's got eight. Well, Adam Caporn told us before the game they have to make more shots. You mentioned the poor shooting numbers on the road trip, Matt. Well, they have done that and then some here in this first quarter. 11 of 13 from the floor, 6 of 8 from 3 is a foul called here for reaching in on Jordan Crawford. Check that, they get him out of bounds. No foul. We'll just stick with Bulls basketball. Well, on Saturday in the loss at Greensboro, the Nets scored 37 in the first quarter, which is certainly something to be proud of. The only problem is they gave up 47 yeah. in that first quarter. Thompson, a step back three, rims out. Rebound tracked down by Hill. He'll take the three. Malcolm Hill is short. Bryce Brown's got it, and he was fouled by Drell. Drell a little overzealous chasing down that rebound. Crawford, working to his left, picks up top for Brown. Bryce Brown looking for Maker inside, had it deflected, and the Nets will keep it. Brown is another guy who has really struggled throughout the road trip, just 5 of 30 from 3 over his last four games coming into tonight. Knocked down his first from the corner earlier, which is a really good sign here for the Nets as they turn it over. Oturu's got it, and up ahead comes Hill. Finds Thompson on the cut, and Raekwon Gray got him on the arm. You can hear the reaction here in the Coliseum. They thought that Gray might have just pulled that one down cleanly. Instead, he gets booked for the foul. Let's see. You be the judge right here. Uh, definitely bodied him up. Got the ball, but got some body also. Ethan Thompson, rookie out of Oregon State. A little over 11 points per game on the season. This is the free throw. An 11-point lead for the Nets here. Under three to play opening quarter. Raekwon Gray, good kick out for Brown. Another three. Bryce Brown has made two here in the opening quarter. Brown feeling it, stroking it with confidence. The all-time leading three-point maker in the history of Auburn University. And the Nets off to a blistering start here in the first quarter. Timeout, Windy City. Nets lead it by 14 here at the Coliseum. Inside, outside. It's all good so far for the Nets. It has been a red-hot start for the Long Island Nets in the opening quarter at the Coliseum. 12 of 14 from the floor, 7 of 9 from 3, and they lead Windy City 35-21. About as good as you can hope for if you're Adam Caporn and the Long Island Nets. Something in our pregame conversation with Coach Caporn, which he kept on harping on Kevin, was that the team was not really in sync, saying that the synergy offensively just has not been there and saying that that is something that is very delicate. You can lose it very quickly when you start tinkering with the roster, which, of course, is what has happened here for the Nets. But so far, at least tonight, the offense is looking to be very much so in sync. Cook inside has it ripped away by Raekwon Gray. 
Brown feeling it from downtown. Bryce Brown's got three here in the opening quarter. There's the heat check for Bryce Brown. All three of them coming in. What do you say, Kevin? About the last three minutes or so, he is firing from distance for Bryce Brown, who at times this season has been lethal shooting it from long range. They had eight three-point makes at the showcase back in December against Agua Caliente. And just as I gave you the stat of his struggles over the last couple of games, he is heating up here in the first quarter tonight. Tyler Cook fouled inside and will go back to the free throw line. Well, that's been the case for the majority of the roster here, Kevin. We come onto the broadcast here telling you about how Long Island can't hit water if they fall out of a boat. As you see Gray this time getting the rip, no foul called. Tried to do that a couple possessions, possessions ago and right over to Gray for the three. Like you said, Kevin, third make. I'm sorry, for, uh, for Bryce Brown. Third make for Bryce Brown here in the first quarter. The Nets continue to shoot lights out. Jordan Bowden up top for Duke Jr. And now Thon Maker. David Duke Jr. will try the three. He knocks it down. Nine three-point makes in the first quarter. Nine for 11, a blistering 82% from distance for the Nets here in the first quarter. Cook inside. Good defense again from Raekwon Gray, but a foul. Yeah, Cook is going to be a load tonight inside for the Nets to handle. Goes 6'8", 255. Guy who's played 64 games in the NBA. We mentioned his stint with the Brooklyn Nets a couple of years ago. He's also played 19 games with the Bulls this season. Yeah, Cook on a two-way right now with Chicago and Windy City, but he has really been all around the map in terms of his NBA stops. Cleveland, Denver, Detroit, Brooklyn, now Chicago on the two-way deal in his third professional season. One of those guys who's put up huge numbers here in the G League has gotten you know, looks from several different NBA teams, but hasn't been able to stick on a full-time NBA roster yet. Six double-doubles in the regular season, including the last game at College Park. Jordan Bowden. Swung around to Duke Jr. Another corner three. This one too much on it. And Cook has the rebound. Finally a miss from downtown for the Nets. Cook will keep it himself. Tyler Cook blocked by Maker. Duke Jr. on it. Up ahead for Bowden. Couldn't handle the pass. Has it back. Finds Graham, who can't finish. Travion Graham, some good hustle here to stay in the play. And out of bounds, last off of Windy City. Yeah, Graham had it contested at the last moment. Had to alter the arc on that shot. I think it was by Perion Calendret there. Nice defense uh, in transition for Windy City. It was seemed like a surefire bucket for the Nets there. Bryce Brown in first quarter threes for Long Island. Oh, it's going to be that kind of a night for Bryce Brown. A perfect four of four from the field. All of them from beyond the arc. I don't have it in front of me, but I'm going to venture to say this is a franchise record for a quarter. Ten made threes. You don't see that too often at any level. Nets 10 of 13 from deep. Bryce Brown has four of them. Fall away jumper good for Oturu. About a second difference here between shot and game clock. In the quarter, Duke looking for Sharp inside. De'Ron Sharp thought it was deflected, but he's not going to get the call. A little miscommunication there between Duke and Sharp. Duke was thinking Sharp was going to cut a little bit harder towards the rim. Fired that pass in. and Didn't look like it was touched from our angles. Bryce Brown checks out here. A little defensive substitution for the Nets. Down to three, Jeremy Pargo with one. Puts it up time that a team has had 10 or more three-pointers in a single quarter, in any quarter, this year in the G League. Maine had 12 against Westchester back in January. That came in the fourth quarter. And back in this building, the Nets gave up 10 against the Delaware Bluecoats. Yeah, that was the wild comeback that Delaware made just before this road trip back on the 2nd of March. Long Island won that game by six, but they were up by 
about 25 right. in the middle of the fourth quarter, and the Blue Coats went on a crazy run to close that game and almost come all the way back. So they made 10 in the fourth quarter of that one. So third time this season a team has made double-digit threes in a quarter. Uh, sharp, a straightaway three, looking to add to it, and it's off the mark. Well, any way you slice it, a fantastic shooting first quarter for the Long Island Nets. Hill down the right side, draws some contact from Sharp and a foul on the Long Island big man. Get another look at Hill going right at Sharp. Takes on the contact, hits the deck, and he'll head to the free throw line. Good free throw shooter, just under 86% is Malcolm Hill. You mentioned one of the two-way players for the Chicago Bulls, undrafted at the University of Illinois back in 2017, so a guy familiar with the Chicago metro area. Duke Jr. lost the handle. Now Bryce Brown looking for another. This one is short. Rebound tapped out of bounds by Windy City. No signal yet, and they're going to give the basketball to the Bulls. Looked like, from my angle, it was last off of Windy City. I'm going to say Annette got it last. As Long Island here on a 25-10 to 10 run to build this 17-point lead. Yeah, based off the reaction of Adam Caporn, he thought that ball was off of Windy City as well, but certainly not the time to use your challenge, so he'll keep that in his pocket here and chalk it up to a turnover. Maybe the Nets get it back right here. And Hill has it poked away by Duke. Dotson is on it. Devon Dotson weaving his way inside. And they do book De'Ron Sharp for foul number three, and he's out of the game. Adam Woodbury checking in for the first time tonight. And Sharp will be on the bench, you'd imagine, here for a while. And Adam Woodbury, who, because of De'Ron Sharp being here on assignment, has seen his minutes decrease. Now getting some run here early in the second quarter. Duke Jr. in transition. He's up to eight. David Duke showing plenty of explosiveness, plenty of bounce. On a bit of a minutes restriction here, working back from an ankle injury. And that is what David Duke Jr. does best. A little ball pressure, getting out in transition, using his athleticism to get to the offensive end. Dotson misses the floater. Here's Duke with a rebound. Rochelle is on it. Nets again looking to run. Rochelle lost the handle and will stay with Long Island. And Henry Drell sort of lurking there in transition as we get a look at that steal and the layup at the opposite end by Duke. Travion Graham up ahead. And Duke with the finish at the other end. Duke up to eight points here. Crawford. Duke Jr. Inside, fall away, jumper goes. David Duke Jr. into double figures with 10. The Nets still shooting at 74% from the floor here in the first half. Simonovic off the mark. And the rebound comes to Grant. Graham and Crawford colliding underneath the backboard there. Almost a turnover for the Nets. And Simonovic pushes Jordan Crawford out of bounds. Along the sideline, Marco Simonovic on assignment from Chicago. Second round pick of the Bulls last season. And Simonovic playing well as of late as a double. Rochelle, nice cut, looking for Woodbury inside, could not connect. Nets have turned it over. Seven times here in the first half. Dotson. Goes up top for Drill. Now to Hill. He'll take the three. Malcolm Hill in and out. Woodbury has the rebound. Tough shot there by Hill. A little off balance. Falling forward. Didn't look good on the release and rattled out. Duke spinning in the lane and turns it over to Calendret. Carry on Calendret will keep it himself, knocked away by Crawford. Crafty challenge there by Crawford. Jordan Crawford, pull up transition, three won't go. 
Rebound chased down by Graham as he falls into the Long Island bench. And we get a foul in transition. It'll be on Duke. Graham a little slow to get back, and that's going to be called a transition take foul there on David Duke Jr. So Hill will shoot the free throw. And Windy City will get the basketball back after the free throw make from Hill, worth one point. With Trevion Graham out of commission there, working his way back from the Long Island Nets bench, trying to commit the foul. It's the man advantage there for Windy City, and that'll cost the Nets a point at the free throw line. And that was the second foul on Duke. So we'll keep an eye on the foul trouble here. Sharp has three. Duke and Raekwon Gray each have two. As Jordan Bowden pulls down the rebound, here comes Rochelle. Brandon Rochelle to the rim. What a take by Rochelle getting around Henry Drell and then Little extra bounce, number 22 in Seafoam Green. How about that throw to hand from the always athletic, always exciting Brandon Rochelle. Now you know he is a threat for a dunk like that anytime he gets going in transition. Brandon Rochelle with authority. We're going to count the basket here. The foul is on Bowden. And one shot up coming for Malcolm Hill. Well, here's Rochelle getting around the defender and a little extra hop, the extra bounce, throwing it down in the face of Simonovic. Hill's free throw is good. He's up to 13 points in the game. It is a 19 point Long Island lead, 50 to 31. We got a foul here on Hill, a little too aggressive there on Travion Graham. Well, as free-flowing and enjoyable as the first quarter was, this second quarter has been foul-fold, uh, filled with fouls, I should say, kind of stopping and starting herky-jerky here, not a lot of flow here to the second quarter, though the Nets do maintain their 19-point edge. Crawford. Kicks out for Gray. Raekwon Gray spinning in the lane off glass, but he can't finish. Nets also have made a three-pointer here in the second quarter after making 10 in the first. Nice take by Simonovic, but he can't finish. And now Gray will push up ahead for Crawford. Jordan Crawford, nice feed for Graham from downtown, in and out for Travion Graham. A great look there by Jordan Crawford. Everything but the bucket there for the Nets in transition once again. Dotson. Fouled by Graham on the drive. It'll be on the floor. Nice hesitation by Dotson to get around Graham. And the Bulls already in the bonus here, so Devon Dotson will shoot one for two. Graham knew he was beat, committed the foul. Make Dotson earn it at the line. Shooting just under 86% on the season. Along with Malcolm Hill, two good free throwers, uh, free throw shooters on this Windy City team. Dotson, good on the free throw. The Bulls have already made eight trips to the free throw line here in the first half. Now Crawford crosses over. Backdoor cut for Brown. Nice feed for Woodbury, and he can't finish. Some good passing from Long Island. Can't convert it into points as Dotson misses a three on the other end. Now Brown. Out for Raekwon Gray. Kick out Crawford. Good look at a three. Jordan Crawford too much on it. Well, that rim starting to shrink just a little bit here for the Nets in the second quarter. Have a couple good looks at three. Again, haven't been able to hit one yet. 1st Dotson down the left side. Nice take from Devon Dotson. Dotson starting to heat up here in the second quarter. Bryce Brown made four threes in that first quarter. Now Crawford, left side drive. Jordan Crawford, a tough take. Showing a little speed, a little explosiveness. 
for Jordan Crawford, 33 years old. Drafted back in 2010. Still got a little, little energy in those legs. Malcolm Hill, a corner three in your life. And we'll for hear sure. about those uh, as the night goes on here from a couple of the guys talking about some different topics here on a special night at Nassau Coliseum. If you tuned in late, these seafoam green jerseys, part of a co-partnership with the New York Liberty, and will be auctioned off. Jordan Crawford next kick to the rear here. So if you like them, you can buy one right off the players box here. We were talking about at the top. Love the color scheme. A very unique one that the New York Liberty has in all of sports, and nice to see the seafoam green here at the Coliseum tonight. Henry Drell finds Dotson for an open three. Devon Dotson leaves it short. Raekwon Gray bullies his way inside and draws a foul. Well, we've seen that a couple times tonight. Raekwon Gray going right at the defender, Henry Drell. Get himself to the free throw line where the Nets have only taken two free throws versus eight for Windy City. Long Island shooting lights out in the first quarter. It's been a struggle here in the second. Just 5 of 12 from the field. 0 of 5 shooting it from long range here in the second. And the first trip to the free throw line here for the Nets in the quarter. Raekwon Gray converts. He's 2 for 2 from the line. And the Nets with four straight points out of the timeout. Back to an 18-point lead. Wide open 3 for Ethan Thompson. Rattles out. Dotson pushing off of Jordan Bowden there. Wanted an offensive foul. Bowden inside. Tough move. And a whistle and an offensive foul. Oh, they actually got a travel there on Jordan Bowden for that extra hop. A little extra bounce in transition for Bowden. He gets booked. Another turnover here for the Nets. Turnover number nine for Long Island. Only five for Windy City. Pargo tied up by Bowden. That'll be a jump ball. So Bowden and the quarter. Pargo in his 13th professional year out of Gonzaga. Came out way back in 2009. Yeah, 36 years old. One of the oldest guys hanging around. <laughs> in the G League, trying to get back to the NBA. Played a couple games a couple years ago with the Warriors back in the 1920 season. But he has been a very accomplished overseas player, Jeremy Pargo. Won several Israeli League titles as Bowden in transition can't finish. Cook for Dotson. Devon Dotson inside Tyler Cook. Nice little give and go. Brown off for Crawford. It's a double screen. Jordan Crawford, step back mid-range jumper. Crawford is up to 14. Jordan Crawford showing you the full repertoire here tonight. Inside, outside, the mid-range here from Crawford. And a nice steadying force in the backcourt for the shorthanded Nets. Pargo to the floater, leaves it short. Cook chases down the rebound, and Pargo has it back. Crosses over. Jeremy Pargo has it knocked away. Now Thompson is on it. Ethan Thompson, the floater goes. Without Dayron Sharp on the floor, a lot of extra opportunities here for Windy City in the second quarter. Bryce Brown, another three, is short. Rebounded by Blyenberg. Here's Dotson in transition. Devon Dotson showing that athleticism follows his own shot. Well, the Nets are vulnerable on the glass here. Von Maker maybe can help out a little bit there. Here's Brown for Raekwon Gray. He'll back his way in. Gray lost his footing. And a jump ball is called. As Gray was tied up, four on the shot clock here for the jump.
One back by Gray, but into the arms of Hill, who races up ahead. Malcolm Hill is up to 17 first half points. Unfortunate break there for the Nets. Right to Hill, who wins a race to the bucket. Crawford. He'll take another three. Jordan Crawford leaves it short. Rebound chased down by Blyenberg. Now Cook back to him. Blyenberg short on the three. And Thonmaker has it. Pace has slowed down a bit here as the clock has wound down in the second quarter. Was frantic back in the first as Bryce Brown is fouled. And the Nets still looking for that first three-pointer here in the second quarter. We mentioned a historic pace for Long Island. Hitting those 10 threes in the first quarter. Well, they've been shut out here in the second. 0 for 7 from distance. Here's Bryce Brown trying to snap that, and he does. Right on cue, number 5 from deep for Bryce Brown. 5 of 7 from deep for Brown. Who we mentioned earlier had struggled from 3 during this losing streak. Snapping out of it in a big way so far tonight on the offensive glass. Some more good work from Tyler Cook. Now the Bulls know that they have an edge. Any shot, any ball that goes up is basically 50-50 at this point rebound-wise here for Windy City, and they are reaping the advantage here on the glass. Duke Jr. crosses over. David Duke Jr. through some contact, and he'll go to the free throw line. Home out as well as Long Island has played and they've shot it here in the first half. Still just a 13 point game. David Duke Jr. a chance to extend it from the free throw line. Pretty nice shot there by Duke almost getting that one to go. That would have been something else had he had an N1 opportunity. The lead was as many as 23 for the Nets. Duke Jr. built a bit of a stat filler shot day here so far tonight. 10 points, three rebounds, two assists, make it 12. Sent up ahead. Good ball movement here from the Bulls. Tyler Cook, an easy deuce. Uh, defensive breakdown there for the Nets, no question about it. Conceding that bucket underneath. Cook has 15 in the half. Under Tapped around. Blyenberg on the floor, gives it up to Bryce Brown. Now Rochelle back to Brown, blocked by Cook, but a foul on the night. Brown, 78% on the season, knocks it down. Two for one chance for Windy City if they work real quickly here. All right, now I'm going to go to my interview first, <laughs> if that's okay with you. No, no more whistles, right? No more whistles. Go for it. As your Duke puts some pressure on Pargo, bouncing for Cook. And Tyler Cook, another good finish. He's up to 17. Nets can hold for the final shot of the half. Crawford, down to 10. With five, Jordan Crawford. Three, a deep three for Crawford is good. Jordan Crawford from about 35 feet, beating the buzzer, final two points. The foul was on Crawford. So Thompson to the free throw line. Misses the free throw, so it ends up as a moot point anyway. Board watching tonight. First result has come in. The Westchester Knicks winners on the road at Cleveland, and they are now tied in the standings, flat-footed tie with the Long Island Nets for seventh in the Eastern Conference. On Long Island coming into tonight, a game out of sixth in the East with three to play. Grand Rapids at 17 and 12 coming in. College Park 17 and 13. Long Island 16 and 14. And then Westchester with that win also at 16 and 14 on the year. So it will be a frantic fight to the finish here. <laughs> and Long Island knows three wins here in their final three games will help their case big time towards earning a playoff spot. Dotson falling away. Jumper is short. Kept in bounds and then off the side of the backboard and will stay with Windy City. Had a wild finish 
to that first half. Two video reviews in the final 35 seconds or so. For a second quarter that sort of plotted along where that first quarter just flew by. Same starting five on both sides here to open up the second half. That scored 44 in the first, just 24 comparatively in the second quarter. Dotson down the left side, blocked by Sharp, and David Duke able to keep it in play. Good footwork there along the baseline by Duke to save it. And the difference on the floor, both offensively and defensively, when Dayron Sharp is out there night and day for the Nets. Crawford, kick out. Rochelle, now Sharp for three. Dayron Sharp from downtown. First made three on the night for Dayron Sharp. And Sharp has shown off his three-point stroke here in his G League tenure. Last time he played here at home, knocked down a couple. 33% here in the regular season with Long Island as Tyler Cook answers on the other end. And Cook has been a load for Long Island to handle. He's up to 19. Again, doing a lot of that damage when Sharp was out of the lineup. So certainly a matchup that the Nets will look to tilt a little bit more in their favor. Sharp inside, draws some contact. And Dayron Sharp doing it outside, now inside. And will go to the free throw line. Nice spin move there to get around Marco Simonovic here. To get a look at it. Seals him off with the left elbow, trying for the up and under, almost finished it. Little English off the backboard, maybe a little too much. And Sharp picked up his third foul about a minute and a half into the second quarter, did not play the rest of the half. So just 11 minutes so far tonight for the big man. Hill inside, off the window, Malcolm Hill can't finish. Duke pulls it away, and Long Island off and running. David Duke Jr. off for Rochelle. Good job by Pargo to get back there and stop Brandon Rochelle, and he dumps it off for Crawford for a corner three off the mark from Jordan Crawford. All night long, Windy City has done a nice job in their transition defense when it seems like the Nets have numbers, able to get back into position, cause Long Island to pull it out. Pargo's fall away jumper won't go. Jeremy Pargo still scoreless tonight. Here's Crawford, now Sharp, mid-range jumper, Dayron Sharp. The inside game, the outside game, and now the mid-range all on display here for Tehran Sharp early in the third quarter. A sloppy turnover there by Windy City. And Malcolm Hill, you can see, wiping off the bottom of his shoes there. Uh, lost his footing on the sideline. Jordan Crawford, 17 points. Tied with Bryce Brown for a team high. Now Rochelle has it, thought about the three. Instead off for Travion Graham. Now Sharp facing up. Kick out, Graham on the drive. Some contact and a travel is called on Travion Graham. Travion Graham has struggled at times offensively for the Nets, putting the ball in the bucket. But what he does typically doesn't show up in the stat sheet. Rebounded the ball very well lately for the Nets. Kind of does the little things, the unheralded things. Bouncing for Simonovic. Knocked away by Rochelle. Pushed up ahead for Duke. David Duke Jr. to the cup, and he can't get the roll. Now Pargo in transition. Jeremy Pargo on the board for Windy City. Another good transition opportunity there for Long Island, and David Duke Jr. could not finish. Here is Duke at the top of the key. Around the screen, down the right side. Duke Jr. draws another foul. On that last transition miss by Duke, again, another strong contest by Windy City. Not just conceding any buckets here to Long Island, particularly in the transition game. Fourth foul on Simonovic, so he'll take a seat, and Henry Drell will come back. As Duke Jr. will go to the free throw line, Long Island, five of six tonight from the stripe. 
Duke in his 10 games with Long Island in the regular season, 92% as he misses this one. Inside for Cook. Tyler Cook over Sharp, can't finish. Duke has another rebound, his fifth. Excellent job there by Sharp. Engaging Cook, but not fouling. Duke still with it. Blocked from behind by Drell. Knocked out of bounds off of David Duke. Uh, Henry Drell has been victimized a couple times tonight, but give him credit there. Able to come up with a block on David Duke Jr. And the ball went off of Duke. And turnover for the Nets. Dotson. Kick out. Hill. Malcolm Hill is fouled. And didn't see if they counted that one. My view of the official is blocked. Count the basket for Malcolm Hill. So a chance here for a three-point play. A couple of continuations tonight for Malcolm Hill. He's up to 20 points now. Seven of ten from the field. Perfect three of three from the line. If you get a look at the friendly Coliseum roll there for Malcolm Hill. Hill is up to 21 with the free throw, and Windy City still hanging around. 14-point game, 73-59. Sharp crosses over. Dayron Sharp, a powerful move, but he can't finish, and Dayron Sharp puts his hands to his head as he can't believe he missed that one. Couple point-blank misses for the Nets here in the third quarter. Cook going right at Sharp, has it knocked away. And you can tell Tyler Cook trying to put Dayron, put Dayron Sharp in position where he doesn't want to pick up that fourth foul here early in the third quarter. Credit Sharp, though. He hasn't really backed down on any of these. He's contested a couple. He's got a piece of that one for a block. Even though the Bulls are going right at number 20 in the seafoam green, he is standing tall with those three fouls. Dotson on the drive. Finds Tyler Cook. And a timeout taking homage to the New York Liberty with these. Benefit search you can pick those up right now. You can bid on the players trunk dot com on these pretty cool jerseys for the Nets on a special night. The women's impact game here at Nassau Coliseum. Poked out of bounds by Dotson and will remain Long Island basketball. There you see Thon Maker on the bench. Seven minutes so far tonight has yet to score. Five on the shot clock here. Jordan Crawford fires another three. It leaves it short, and it comes down to Ethan Thompson. Dotson backs it out. On the drive, Devon Dotson up top for Drell. Henry Drell fakes the pass, but he can't finish, and Bowden has the rebound. Oh, Drell faking out everybody on the nets, doing everything but putting it in the bucket. Now Crawford crossing over. Kick out. Graham, a corner three, is good. There's Travion Graham chipping in the corner three-pointer. He's up to six points. The second, second made three of the game here. Nets have made 14 of 26 from deep. Ten of them came back in the first quarter. Cook facing up on Sharp. Tyler Cook to the hook shot. Cook is up to 23. Nice touch there inside from Cook. A very efficient night for him. Now 11 of 16 from the field for Tyler Cook. Now Crawford. A little herky-jerky shot there, and he was fouled on the arm. Jordan Crawford will go to the free throw line. Now Jordan Crawford, we talked to Adam Caporn about him before the game, was with Long Island for a chunk of time earlier in the regular season, was let go for about a month, came back, has played. Now this is his sixth game since returning, and he's played really well. Over 18 points per game in those five games coming in, and he's got 17 tonight. You can see the patience in the paint there by Jordan Crawford working his way through the trees. He's a perfect seven for seven on shots in the two-point range tonight, a testament to that veteran mid-range game that Jordan Crawford can play oh so well. Cook facing up sharp. Cook bounces, has it taken away by Raekwon Gray, and Dotson with some good defense on the other end sets up Cook for the easy two. 
Good anticipation there from Devon Dotson to pick off that pass as a foul called on Thompson as he grabbed a hold of De'Ron Sharp. You know, Kevin, I promised some scoreboard watching tonight, so I'm going to stay true to my word. Third quarter, College Park and Lakeland. College Park, a three-point lead in that game. And elsewhere, Grand Rapids trailing Raptors 905 by 11 in the third quarter. Nets need College Park and Grand Rapids to lose in order to get back into playoff positioning. Crawford's three off the mark. Now Thompson gets a screen from Cook. Kick out, Drell a corner three, and he's fouled by Gray. Raekwon Gray did not let Henry Drell land in the corner, and he'll shoot one for three. Well, Drell shoots at just 55% from the line on the season. He's played 27 games for Windy City. We got to look at the replay here. Drell in the corner. There's Gray with the contest, and out of your picture, Drell hitting the ground. So one free throw, worth three here for Drell. Yet to get on the scoreboard tonight. No good from Drell from the free throw line. And Windy City, six of 11 as a team from the line. It has been a struggle from there tonight. Now Brown inside. Off for Sharp. Dayron Sharp to the left hand. Knocked out of bounds. And will be Windy City basketball. Well, the Nets on the floor disagree with that call. They thought it was off of Windy City. There have been a couple of those chances for Dayron Sharp. You saw him kind of holding his head there on the way back down the floor. A couple that he, he believed he should have made. Dayron Sharp still 13 points tonight. It's Dotson to the left hand. And Windy City is win in 11, 78-67. Dotson just 5 of 13 from the field, but feels way more impactful getting his teammates involved. Does, has, does have six assists tonight. Crawford out for Brown. Now Dayron Sharp, a straightaway three off back iron, no. Dotson down the left side. Devon Dotson off the window. Comes down to Sharp. He'll look to push. And now Jordan Crawford will slow things down. Finds Brown for a good look at a three. Bryce Brown too much on it. Chased down by Bowden. You can see a little frustration there on the face of Dayron Sharp. He's had a couple close looks inside, those little baby hooks. Just haven't really gone in here for Sharp in the third quarter. Coming up short, but gets his own rebound. That's where he gets fouled. And those jump hooks have been the ones who have given him trouble tonight. Sharp, 5 of 10 from the floor. Free throw is up and short. Sharp now one of three from the stripe tonight. Yeah, just a 52% free throw shooter coming into the game here for De'Ron Sharp. Thompson down the left side, falling away, is fouled by Bowden. And Ethan Thompson can bring Windy City within single digits here at the free throw line. Foul starting to pile up here for the Bulls. Sharp, Duke, and Gray, all with three fouls for the Nets. Simonovic and Drell have four for Windy City. Delay of game called on the Bulls. A bit of a delay there with their substitution, so a warning issued to their bench. As now Thompson will go to the free throw line as Windy City... Continues to struggle from there. Now 6 of 12 as a team from the stripe tonight. That's five points left at the free throw line over the last minute or so here for Windy City. Crawford crosses over. Jordan Crawford fouled by Thompson. And Long Island in the bonus here, so Crawford to shoot one for two. I think Jordan Crawford is the last one in the building yeah. to know that fact. Yeah, Crawford was ready for the inbounds <laughs> pass was. there. I had to tell him he was headed to the free throw line. 
Knocks it down, Crawford up to 21. And the Nets lead back to 13. Calendret, now Pargo around the screen. Fall away jumper, no good. Rebound pulled down by Bowden. Jordan Bowden inside, looking for Woodbury, the pass too tall. That's safe on Saturday night. That'll be a fun one, to say the least. It will be a fun one, yes. A little nerve-wracking for those of us who have a little skin in the game, Kevin. And Matt, for those of you not <laughs> watching, is a North Carolina alum, just like Dayron Sharp. So Indeed. we know who you'll be rooting for on yes, Saturday. you do. And the shot clock expires on Windy City. Great defensive stand there by the Nets and certainly a forgettable possession for Windy City after the timeout. To get beat by a shot clock violation, that can't happen for Windy City. Bowden inside for Rochelle. Brandon Rochelle to the left hand, can't finish, knocked away and pulled down by Drell. Calendret. Now Drell down the left side. Up with it is Thompson. Ethan Thompson is fouled. And the foul's really kind of piling up here in this third quarter, more so than we saw in the first half. Foul is on Bowden, his second, and Ethan Thompson to the free throw line. That started in the second quarter, continues here in the third. Play a little disjointed. Starting and stopping off and with all these fouls. We mentioned the struggles at the line here for Windy City, just six of 12 shooting it from the line. A couple big misses lately here for the Bulls from the free throw line. Ethan Thompson is 0 for 3 himself. Finally knocks one down and Windy City back within 11. Long Island has led this by as many as 23. But the Bulls have kept it within striking distance. And a chance to get within single digits as Woodbury misses the floater. And Woodbury's had a couple of close looks here in the second half. And he's missed them all, 0 of 2. Calendret kicks out for Pargo. Now Oturu. Daniel Oturu. Inside, pulled away by Brown. Good work there from Bryce Brown defensively. Rochelle keeps it himself. Brandon Rochelle hanging in the air and finishes. That was Brandon Rochelle one on four in transition against the Windy City Bulls. And the Windy City team that's been very good defensively in transition. Let that one go. Calendret from downtown. Carry on Calendret with his first bucket of the night. It's a 10 point game. Back the other way. We get a whistle and a blocking foul on the Bulls. It'll be on Calendret. Another look is Brandon Rochelle again, another strong drive, getting himself to the free throw line. It's been a relatively quiet night for Rochelle. He had a big dunk early in the first quarter, only up to six points, but at times showing you just how explosive he can be here on back-to-back -back possessions. Misses the free throw. Graham on the offensive glass, but they get a foul on Travion Graham there for pushing off going after the offensive rebound. So with Windy City in the bonus, that'll send them to the free throw line. Second foul on Graham, and it will be Oturu to the free throw line. A chance here for Windy City to get it to single digits. Haven't seen that since the first quarter for the Bulls. Free throw no good, and Graham has the rebound for Long Island. Nets winning the rebounding battle 33-30. Duke up top for Brown. Bryce Brown, a step back three, way off, and out of bounds. Daron Sharp set a serious screen there to spring Brown open for three. You see Bryce Brown saw the defender fall down, took a couple steps to get behind the arc. 
Just came up empty on the shot. Calendret. To his right, finds Oturu. Daniel Oturu kicks up top for Pargo. Five on the shot clock. Jeremy Pargo down to two. Has to get one up here. Pargo steps back, will not get it off in time. Second shot clock violation on Windy City here in the last couple of minutes. And the Nets mixing it up defensively at the start of that possession, picking up with a little bit of full court pressure. Not allowing Windy City to get into their offense the way in which they would prefer. But like you said, Kevin, just a matter of minutes, another shot clock violation for the Bulls. Sharp, lost the handle, Oturu on it, and Windy City can hold for one. Down to Fargo inside looking for Oturu. He was held, and that will send him to the free throw line here with 2.7 on the clock. So Oturu here to the free throw line. Foul was on Duke, his fourth. Rebounded by Graham on the miss, and that'll do it for the third quarter. Start of the fourth quarter here at the Coliseum in a 10-point game, 82-72. Long Island on top of Windy City, and Bryce Brown starts off the fourth quarter on a high note. Great start there for the Nets. Three-point make number six tonight for Bryce Brown. He's six of ten from the field, all of them coming from beyond the arc. And up to 20 points for Brown, second net over 20. Jordan, Jordan Crawford has got 21. Nets need this game in a big way as Calendret answers on the other end from three. Nets a game out of a playoff spot entering tonight with three to play. One more here at home. They'll finish the season on the road on Friday night at Capital City. And we are scoreboard watching as well. We'll get you the updates here in a second as Dayron Sharp has it inside. Five on the shot clock. Cross-court pass for Brown for another three. How about that from Bryce Brown? And Brown hitting the deck after burying that triple. Might have had a case at a potential four-point play. Nevertheless, that is six quick ones for Bryce Brown in the Nets. Seventh made three of the night for Brown. On the other end, the answer <laughs> from Malcolm Hill. Oh, it doesn't help that Windy City has an answer for both of those three-pointers there by Bryce Brown. Nets made 10 threes in the first quarter. They've got 16 in the game. Brown, the heat check is good. That kind of night for Bryce Brown. They are coming in clusters for the Long Island sharpshooter. Remember, the Nets playing without Craig Randall, leading scorer, second leading scorer in the G League. Simonovic knocks down the mid-range jumper. And we haven't seen a miss yet here in the fourth quarter. It is an 11-point Long Island lead. Similar to how the first quarter started, both teams on fire to start the game, and similarly here in the fourth quarter. Travion Graham, extra pass, Rochelle. He'll take the three. Brandon Rochelle from deep. Well, let's see if Windy City has an answer. So far, they have matched the Nets shot for shot. First three makes for Long Island. 18 of the Nets' 31 made field goals have been threes tonight. Dotson with a miss. Rochelle has the... Crawford. Looking for a lane. Kicks out for Brown. Now to Sharp. Dayron Sharp on the drive. Athletic move with the left hand. Pretty take there by Sharp. Crossing over, getting into the lane. And a nice left-handed finish. Drell has it poked away. Good patience there from Henry Drell to lay it in. Little head fake. You got Sharp and Rochelle flying by. Easy layup there for Drell. Brown is fouled by Drell. Fifth foul on Drell as the fouls are piling up on both sides. Duke has four for Long Island. Now five for Drell, four 
for Simonovic, also four for Ethan Thompson. Rochelle down the right side to the spin move with the left hand, a bit wild there from Brandon Rochelle. Calendret, Simonovic to the hook shot, in and out. And it popped out of the hand there of Malcolm Hill, nearly had the offensive rebound all to himself. Instead, it is with the Nets. Crawford down the right side to the scoop shot. Nice take there from Jordan Crawford. He's now up to 23 points. Very efficient, eight of 14 from the field. Hill inside. Can't finish with the left. Crawford has the rebound, and the Nets' lead is at 16. Rochelle looking inside for Sharp, and he's fouled by Simonovic. That'll be the fifth on the Windy City big man. Blistering start here to the fourth quarter for both these teams. 16 points in the first four minutes here for the Long Island Nets. And plenty of them coming courtesy of that guy, Bryce Brown. 26 points on eight made threes tonight. Yeah, Brown hit eight back at the showcase against Agua Caliente. He has matched that here tonight as Crawford down the right side. Can't finish off the window. Another scoop shot there Tried from Jordan Crawford. <laughs> Went back to the well, did Crawford. Dotson down the right side, high off glass. It won't go. Big rebound from Brandon Rochelle. Dotson changing the trajectory of that shot with Rochelle and Sharp flying in defensively. Crawford inside for Sharp. Dayron Sharp counted and the foul. And that was some pretty offense there from Crawford and Sharp playing the two man game. See a little wry smile on the face of Jordan Crawford as he goes to have a chat with Nets head coach Adam Caporn. How about the finish there from Sharp through contact off the glass. Nice soft touch. Daron Sharp up to 17. Chance to make a three-point play here. Uh, Nets had an eight-game winning streak through the beginning of March, riding a six-game losing streak into tonight. This was the kind of effort that they needed to snap it, get back on track here with a playoff spot on the line down the stretch, and they're seven and a half away from snapping it and getting back on track here. Simonovic in the lane. The floater goes. He's up to seven points, playing with those five fouls. Now Graham, kick out for Sharp. Dayron Sharp going to back his way in. Five on the shot clock. Sharp. Nice feed inside for Rochelle. The reverse falling away is good for Brandon Rochelle. Pretty passing on back-to-back -back possessions for Long Island. First it was Crawford to Sharp. Now Sharp returning the favor to Brandon Rochelle. Some pretty offense here in the fourth quarter for Long Island, just like they opened the game in the first. Hill. Five to shoot. Dotson. Working on Sharp, kick out, corner three is in and out from Calendret. Windy City going cold here at the worst possible time, allowing the Nets to open this lead back to 18. Sharp crosses over. Dayron Sharp, pull up jumper is short. Hill will push it. Malcolm Hill, kick out for Dotson. Simonovic. Top of the key for three, too much on it. And at the point, they'll play the Raptors here at home on Thursday, finish at Capital City on Friday. A very tough back-to-back -to, -back to end the season. So this is one Long Island has to have. And they've done their job so far as Duke Jr. can't knock down the three. Graham on the offensive glass. Another try here for the Nets, but Gray coughs it up. Basically, if you're a Long Island Nets fan, what you need to know is they got a win tonight. And if they want to control their own destiny, they got to win the next two as well. Simonovic on the offensive glass. He's up to nine points in Windy City. Trying to hang around here in a 16-point game. And Bowden's going to get called for an offensive foul. He clipped Calendret. Trying to get Duke free. Well, at this point of the game, the one thing you can't do if you're the Nets, commit a foul. At that point of the shot clock that stops the clock, 
the Nets obviously content to take their time on offense and an unfortunate break there for Long Island. Cook down the right side around Maker and Thon Maker called for the foul. Second on Maker, and he's going to take a seat as Adam Woodbury will replace him. Tyler Cook has been kept off the scoreboard here in the fourth quarter. 25 points after three. That's where he's at right now. He steps up to the line, shooting one for two. Cook 12 of 17 from the floor. It's been mostly Cook and Hill who have done the damage for Windy City. A combined 49 points on 20 of 30 from the floor. The rest of the team is 15 of 47. As Cook up to 27 with a free throw. Bowden, kick out for Duke. Crosses over, David Duke Jr., the athleticism, but an offensive foul is waiting for him was Malcolm Hill. Now, there wasn't a ton of contact there, but just enough from David Duke. This is a spectacular near finish for the rookie out of Providence. Just grazed Hill. You can see... Duke incredulous at the call right there. Hill. Driving on Gray. Kicks out. Simonovic for three. That's off the mark. Duke has the rebound. Simonovic just one of five. Shooting it from deep tonight. He's had a couple of those open looks at the top. Been unable to convert. Bowden will try the three. Jordan Bowden, too much on it. And now Windy City into the front court with Hill. He'll cross over. Kicks out for Cook. Tyler Cook draws a double team. Skip pass. Extra pass now for a Hill three, which is good. Malcolm Hill has 27. And that shot contested pretty tightly there by Bryce Brown. It's a nice shot by Hill right over the defense. And Windy City back within 11. Baseline drive from Duke. David Duke, some contact, no whistle. Follows his shot and lays it in. Well, it ain't coming easy here in the fourth quarter for David Duke, but that time sticking with it. Getting the Nets back up to 13 with Jordan Crawford, De'Ron Sharp, and Brandon Rochelle waiting to check back in to close this one out for the Nets. And Raekwon Gray going to commit a foul here on Cook. Just the second team foul on Long Island in the quarter. And here comes that trio for the Nets, Crawford, Sharp, and Rochelle. Nets trying to protect this 13-point cushion. Pargo for three. It's good in Windy City. Has it down to 10. We touched on it in the first half that the Nets have seen big fourth quarter leads evaporate recently. That game against Delaware coming to mind. Rochelle down the left side off glass. That's a big bucket from Brandon Rochelle. No lead safe in the G League, Kevin, in the fourth quarter. And we know that. We know that by now. Pargo will take it baseline. Pargo, the reverse won't go. Cook on the follow. Tyler Cook has 29. And Cook had very good position on that shot right there. Dayron Sharp was in his back pocket, out of position, and an easy offensive rebound and putback. Well, these are the moments where Craig Randall and Ty Wallace have been the closers for Long Island. Who will be the closer here with two and a half to go? Dayron Sharp trying to stake his claim to that. Did he ever? Backing his way down in on Simonovic. Pretty finish there by Sharp. Pargo crosses over. Now Hill. Malcolm Hill to the spin move. Fall away jumper and he's fouled by Brown. The season. So it ain't tough sledding here for the Nets as they try to claw their way back into the playoff picture. Malcolm Hill's free throw is good and we have a 10 point game here. 108-98 with a little over two to play. Nets have Crawford, Duke, Brown, Rochelle and Sharp on the floor. It is Pargo, Cook, Hill, Thompson, and Simonovic for Windy City. Duke down the left side. An offensive foul is Sharp. Got a little bit of a shove there on Malcolm Hill. 
That'll be the fourth on Dayron Sharp. And do remember, both coaches without their challenge, both had unsuccessful challenges back in the first half. And Adam Caporn just shouting at his guys in green, we've got to stop with the offensive fouls. That is now the second offensive foul for the Nets here in the final two or three minutes or so. Pargo, a straightaway three is good. Jeremy Pargo has hit a couple threes here in the fourth quarter. And Windy City, just like that, is within seven. As I was saying before the break, these are the moments where Wallace and Randall have been the closers for Long Island. And they need somebody to step up to help secure this win. Crawford inside for Sharp by himself. And the last time you said it, Dayron Sharp got the ball right on cue. Crawford work. Cook to the rim, draws a foul, and Tyler Cook will go back to the free throw line. He will shoot two as we are inside the final two minutes. And now the Nets need some stops on defense. Tyler Cook, two of four from the line so far this evening. Again, going to shoot two, like Kevin just said. Get another look at the foul. Michelle not happy. You can see Sharp trying to calm him down. Last thing the Nets want at this point is a technical foul, of course. And the way things have gone lately for the Nets, mired in a six-game losing streak, a nine-point lead has never felt so tenuous. Travion Graham will come back here for Bryce Brown, who's had an outstanding day shooting the basketball. Brown, 8 of 12. From three-point range, a team-high 26 points. All 12 of his shots have been threes. Tyler Cook has a game-high 30. He makes them both from the free-throw line back to a seven-point lead. Cook just a 46% free-throw shooter. Those are two big ones for Windy City. David Duke Jr. off for Crawford. Ten on the shot clock. Crawford guarded tightly by Pargo. Couple vets going at it. Crawford slips. And Adam Caporn will take a timeout. They get it in for Sharp. Dayron Sharp on the drive. Fall away. Jumper is short. Rebound tapped up in the air and will roll out of bounds. Goes back to Windy City with 51.3. Comes into Pargo. He's had a couple of big shots here in the fourth quarter. Pargo crosses over another three off the mark, rebounded by Graham. And Long Island will slow things down here, about a 20 second difference between shot and game clock. And Hill gives the foul on Duke. Fourth team foul on Windy City. That was, I believe, their foul to give. You know, first in the last two minutes. So the next one will send Long Island to the free throw line as it comes into Duke. Well, it's got to come quickly here for Windy City. There you go. And they give the foul with Ethan Thompson. So David Duke Jr. to shoot two. Up by seven. And Duke, one for two tonight. 92% here in the G League. And he makes the first. Second free throw up and good. Up ahead for Pargo with Long Island now in front by nine. Pargo finds Cook, lost the handle. Graham is on it, up to Duke. Hill will chase him down and give the foul, and Long Island looks like they're going to survive. And in the process, snap that six-game losing streak that saw the Nets go from pretty comfortably in the playoff picture in the Eastern Conference to on the outside looking in. Obviously a win that the Nets... Had to have for a lot of reasons. Coming back home after going 0-5 on the road trip. Six straight losses overall. Finally going to get back into the win column. It looks like here for the Nets. And with it, they will guarantee themselves to finish above 500 in the regular season. We'll put them three games over with two to play. But, of course, their aspirations are higher than that. 
It is to get into the postseason for scenarios certainly could come into play here down the stretch. We'll have more information on that for you on Thursday as Long Island will take on Raptors 905, the top team in the conference, and what will be another must-win game as Cook laid it in. Duke is fouled again, and David Duke Jr. going to go back to the free throw line with 19.7 on the clock. Nine-point game, 20 seconds on the clock. Windy City still fouling. For the Bulls, this will be their third consecutive loss. They came into tonight losers of seven of their last ten out of playoff contention. Of course, we should mention 14 and 18 on the se uh, season for Windy City. Their struggles continue on the road. This is their going to be their sixth consecutive road loss. Well, David Duke Jr. has been money from the free throw line here down the stretch to ice it. This free throw gives him 20 on the night. Seven of eight from the line. And the Nets able to ice it down the stretch as Hill's three is off the mark. Rebound down to Crawford, and he will dribble things out. A six-game losing streak is over. Long Island back in the win column, improving to 17 and 14 on the year. Your final score, Nets 116, Bulls.